Caleb. Hello, a day with Caleb. We are doing part two of my wrestling, uh, my entire wrestling collection, uh, media-wise. I do have toys, I do have a few other miscellaneous wrestling things, but this is strictly the media. This is the part two. If you haven't seen part one, watch this completely and then go back and watch part one uh we're digging into some pretty cool wrestling uh dvd sets so let's just dive right in first we have the best of raw 15th anniversary 1993 to 2008 then we have four volumes of summer slam these are just pretty cool with the kind of capsule picture of each of the years. Then uh, these awesome Royal Rumble uh, sets here. And it shows the year and everything, breaks down the years of each Royal Rumble. So those are awesome sets. Then we'll continue with the Royal Rumble, this being the true story of the Royal Rumble. The Last Ride uh, Undertaker. Man, that's, that's too shiny to show. Man, that's getting blown out. This is a great documentary. Really well done. Talking about The Undertaker's last few years as a wrestler. John Morrison. Straight out of Dudleyville. Talking about the Dudley Boys. One of the greatest tag teams of all time, instrumental in some of the greatest lad table ladder chair matches out there. Batista, I Walk Alone, The Rise and Fall of ECW, Hulk, uh, let's see, Hulk Still Rules, Royal Rumble, this being 2021, so the most recent of the Royal Rumble. Let's get this stack here. The best of pay-per-view matches 09 to 010, 010, 2010. I could just say 10, I guess. The Legacy of Eddie Guerrero. Goldberg. This, he was the man, maybe not my favorite as far as wrestlers, Sting, and Undertaker. But that streak was phenomenal. I watched pretty much every match, and Goldberg was a gem. He would blow out the smoke, had all those bodyguards around him, just excellent. The best of Sting, that's a good collection there. The Undertaker Deadliest Matches. Best of Pay-Per-View. This is 2012. 
Satan's Prison, the Anthology of the Elimination Chamber. That's pretty cool. Um, Monday, Nitro, The Rabus of WCW, Volume 3. Volume 2. And Volume 1. This being WCW War Games. Most notorious matches of WCW. The Raz and Fall of WCW. That's actually really good. Okay, now we get to some tricky ones here. Let's see. So I guess we'll kind of go backwards. This being last year's WrestleMania. Then. 2019, 2018, what's next, 2017, can you guess, 2016, this one might be one of my favorite Wrestlemanias, Sting uh, facing off Triple H, then, uh, spoiler alert, I'm warning you now if you haven't seen it, but, Triple H, uh, DX, comes, defends him with Sting. It's a little interesting that NWO def defends Sting, even though for most of WCW, Sting was against NWO. He did join the Wolf Pack, as you can see by my shirt, but most of the time he was against the original faction of the NWO, but that moment gave me chills. Such a great moment. Then we have WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 29, we're going backwards. 28, this is on Blu ray. 27, 26, 25, 24. 23, this is great, with former President Trump there, uh, and he shaves uh, Vince McMahon's head, that's a classic, 22, 21, then we have the true story of Wrestlemania, and then we have this awesome Anthology, uh, Wrestlemania 1985-2005, such a great one, it's supposed to have a disc in there, but, uh, I got a pretty good discount, so I bought the first Wrestlemania separate, so, we have volume... Well, that is harder to do with one hand. Volume 1, 1985 to 1989. Then we have Volume 2, 1990 to 94. Then we have 3, uh, 95 to 99. Yeah. Then, of course, Volume 4, 2000 to 2004. So that is everything. Part 2. Go check out Part 1 of my Complete Wrestling Media Collection. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe down below. Share with a Wrestling Wolfpack NWO fan. Uh, until next time, guys, keep collecting.